Okay, another episode of Talk and Chalk where you give me the questions and I get all the answers to you as quickly as possible. Still in Fiji, walking around Suva, checking out the sites, going to the farmer's market, and I wanted to get this, kill two birds with one stone. Fight underscore against underscore dad bod. Tricep insertion, tendinopathy, going on three years. Any pushing hurts. How can I start treating it? <clears throat> so what I would do to start is, i roll out your, uh, your tries, I'd make sure that your biceps are loose and that your, that your forearm is, is released and work on that to begin with and then after you do all that I would take 30 to 40 grams of collagen a day to try and keep your inflammation down um, and then just sort of pinpoint what movements bug it what movements don't bug it or pull-ups bugging it or just all pushes bugging it and then you know try and slowly add pushes in and see if it gets better K Shatish Underscore Singh asks, which type of injury needs both hot and cold treatment? Which treatment apply first? I think actually going back to the previous question, tendinopathy, you can get um, ice, ice and, and, and cold treatment can benefit it, you know, later in the day post-workout. And then before training, you can use heat to sort of break it up with some Graston. Um, and really loosen up that whole joint. So I think tendinopathies usually respond pretty well to both uh, cold and heat as long as they're hit at the, at the right times. Karam D underscore or Kara MD underscore, I don't know which. How do I get more mobility and balance in my legs and knees? Unilateral work is king. Crush the unilateral work. Uh, work some some unilateral hip work so you can factor in Cossack squats you can start to use a lot of Bulgarian one-legged squats where you take your back knee to the to the pad make sure you're getting a whole bunch of mobility in that hip girdle your lower backs mobile and stable and you feel pretty good and I think that that's the absolute best way that you can hammer home uh, improving that that mobility and stability we go or hey underscore hin 72 s does jogging long distance mess up fast twitch muscles does it mess it up I mean that depends on your on your uh, on your definition but yes if you're training uh, slow twitch movements like long duration of jogging or yogging as we call it uh, where you're going you know five days a week doing jogging it's gonna have a serious negative impact on how well you recruit high threshold motor units or your fast switch muscle fibers so it can have a very very negative impact especially if you're doing it all the time now if you're a fighter and you train explosively and you have yourself you know a jogging session once every 7 to 14 days it's not gonna ruin you a lot of people will want you to think that but I don't believe that so I think it's okay in spurts, but I, I don't think it's optimal, but I also just, I don't think it's going to kill you. Um, but if you want to be explosive, focus on explosive work, like sprints, hill sprints. Charlie underscore Brown underscore lifts. Best, on, best online program for a newbie who can't get to the gym consistently. Consistently, yes. Um, for us... Uh, you could buy, you know, something like a body weight program. Um, something as simple as just like uh, the ghost face program. That's something that you could do in your garage. Get 35, 40 minutes of serious work done and you're good to go. So that's what I'd say. Buy the ghost face program. It's updated every single month and it's exactly what I'm doing. Big Daddy Deej 0713. What does cultivate your power mean? Oh shit some story branding going on so cultivate your power means 
the ability to harness all of the positive energy within yourself and within your inner being and using it for all things positive, all positive gains. So spiritual positive gains, strength positive gains, relationship positive gains, accountability. It's, it's becoming powerful in every sense of the word, um, in every way that you can form it for life. It's not just cultivate your power and be an explosive, powerful athlete, but it's cultivate your power to be a better person, to hold yourself accountable, to to treat others as well as you possibly can. It's, it's to dig deep, find who, who you are as a person deep down inside your gut, bring that up to the surface, and exude that in every single thing that you do in life, in work, in your relationships, like I said, in training, every single thing that you can think of, how you treat others, how you raise your kids, how you raise you know, your animals, how you treat people all the time. It's, it's like the classic uh, golden rule. So I think that uh, cultivate your power for me is something that, that is all encompassing and it's all derived in that genuine innate human feel to be a really good freaking person and to be just an absolute beast so i'm gonna do another talking chalk here next couple days in suva fiji peace